Hey everyone, my name is Connor. I work in marketing here at Replit. And yeah, I just wanted to show you how you can build and host your own website on Replit um, for zero monthly cost. And so um, I'm still learning HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And so sometimes when I want to build um, a complex website, I actually use um, a tool called Webflow. And so on Webflow, it's a no-code tool where you can build websites and they have a plan where um, you can export any code of any website you build. So you can build websites on here for free and then you can pay for, I think it's $20 a month for um, a plan to export code. And the truth is, is you can build all your websites for free, um, pay for the plan to export all your code. And then once you export all your code, you own it and you don't necessarily have to say um, subscribed. And so um, we actually built, or I actually built this website um, for an NFT hackathon we're putting on for OpenSea. And so um, if you're interested in Web3 or, or want to build or want to learn, um, we're doing over $45,000 of prizes. And so if you're watching this in early April and you want to learn Web3, um, this would be a really cool thing to be a part of. And so um, main feature here that we're worried about or that we're, we're interested in is the export code feature. And so um, this allows us to export code um, and it usually segments from like HTML, CSS, JavaScript, images, fonts, all of those things. And so we're just going to prepare the zip I'm going to download it and then going to open it. Um, and then I have all of the zip here. And so um, the next thing that I'm going to go do is I'm going to go to Replit. I'm going to create an HTML, CSS and JavaScript file. And then I'm just going to label this OpenC underscore Replit. I'm going to make it private for now. Um, but I'll, I'll have another example of a website that you guys can kind of fork and play around with or review yourself. And so um, it comes preloaded with all of these, uh, with like an index file, um, JS, and then um, style sheet for CSS. And so we're going to delete all those. Um, and then I'm going to go in here. Things that I am worried about because of what I know that's in the website is fonts, um, um, documents, images. I'm only a one page website, so I only really care about the index. And then I also want JavaScript and CSS. And so from there, I can just scroll over and then um, upload all these. And so um, these will take a second to upload, but um, yeah, it only takes like um, like a little under a minute, but um, exporting code feature, it's not just something that Webflow offers, you know, like Squarespace, WordPress, almost any website builder. Um, if you pay for a certain plan um, for a certain period, you will um, be able to export your code. And so if you don't like Webflow, but you wanna use another website builder, you can also do that. And so have all this code here, I'm just going to click run um, and the website's running. And so here you can actually click, um, you know, create your own custom domain. And so on another REPL, I've done that. And so I've connected it to nft.replit.com and the website loads here. And then here um, on this example, um, you can also see the website running. And so that's something, yeah, that you can completely do. And so um, Another, so um, I didn't want to necessarily make this public, um, this website public until we're kind of done with the hackathon, but um, I built another website in the past um, for a little idea I had. Um, idea is not important, but exported all the code and then um, have it available here. And so exported it, um, prepared the zip, downloaded it, and have the website here. Um, still works and everything, you know, functions normally. Um, you can actually go here um, and fork the template. I'll, I'll include the like link for the spotlight below. And so you can go fork the template, do whatever you want with it. But um, I think if you really know HTML and you know CSS and you know JavaScript and you want to build a complex website, I think building it from scratch is like a really great idea because you have all of those skills. But if you, you know, feel like you're like me where you're really learning some of these coding languages still, but you want to build a really complex website, I think this is like a great way to get started where you can have something that looks really cool um, that gets built pretty easily. And then um, the nice thing is that like once you export the code and you kind of like cancel your subscription, um, it really locks you in to like learn um, HTML and CSS and JavaScript. Because when I want to make changes, like um, change the copy, I got to do that. When I want to um, change the font color or, you know, align a div here or there, um, this is like a good tactic to like learn the beginnings of CSS and HTML and, and all of those things, um, but not be like restricted to building really small things. And so, uh, yeah, this is just a quick guide. Um, you'll be able to fork this template and play around with it, but hopefully this is helpful. Um, feel free to leave like any comments on feedback or um, if this is the type of stuff you're interested in or if you want to see something else. Um, hope you guys have a great day. Bye.